So the first one is something that I actually is very popular, but I didn't talk about in the last video, but it's something that I used kind of to just track my sleep, see how well I slept. And it's this guy right here. What's going on guys? My name is Spencer and this is the Must Become YouTube channel. I believe that what you can become, you must become. That means if you have any potential within you or a dream you're looking to accomplish before you kick the can, then it's your obligation to do so and you must dedicate time and effort and resources to making that come true. So with that said guys, let's jump right into this video. Guys, this is actually a part two to a video that if you want to go back and watch the first part will be very, very important. It'll give you some context for what I'm talking about. But this video is about sleep. I talked about kind of what I do to sleep and the fact that I'm not a really good sleeper. And so here's what I do to help me actually get to sleep and stay asleep, which is very, very important. And so guys, if you guys haven't seen that video, please go back and watch that and then come back to this one. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the tools. I only have a couple things here that I'm going to show you. I mentioned in my last video that I use a sauna in a certain way. I use a cold shower in a certain way. I'm not going to show you those two in this video. Um, there's also one or two things that I've heard of that I'm interested in trying, but I do not currently use them here, guys. I'm going to show you what I specifically use. So the first one is something that I actually is very popular, but I didn't talk about in the last video, but it's something that I used kind of to just track my sleep, see how well I slept. And it's this guy right here. So this is actually an aura ring. And what this is, is they claim to be the kind of best consumable sleep tracking device that you can get um, kind of available to consumers today. So I use this bad boy to really track my sleep. And what you can do is you can see in here, it actually has these little kind of points right there that essentially what they do is it tracks how your sleep is doing. It tells you what, how much deep sleep you had, light sleep, REM sleep, all this and that. Um, it estimates, you know, how what your readiness is going to be. That's kind of like what availability of energy you're going to have to execute tasks today, that kind of thing. And, you know, there is a bit of a debate. I will say a lot of people say that these are awesome. And, and it is. I really like it for what it does. But there is a debate on how valuable it is because some people really attach a kind of mental effort or their mood or whatever it is to what their sleep score is on the app. And the app is very comprehensive. It'll tell you a bunch of information. It'll even track and give you trends and all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to look at it. You don't want to wake up with it. And I, I've actually done this myself. Um, you wake up in the morning, wow, I slept great. I'm ready to go uh, tackle the day. And then you look at your sleep score and you're like, oh, I only had a 52 out of 100. And then you feel like, well, maybe I'm not. So your workout's not as good or your meetings don't go as well or whatever it is. So I will say use this one with caution. I really do like it. I really, really do. Because you can export the data and you can share it with your doctor if you want um, any of that kind of stuff. I really do like it. But do keep in mind that there is a mental attachment to it that might actually hinder you if you are a little too obsessed with the data that this thing brings you. But this is the Aura Ring, guys. I believe it's about 400 USD, maybe 500. I can't quite remember what I got it for now because I've had it for a couple of years. But um, somewhere in that range, if you want to check them out, um, I'm not affiliated, by the way, with any of the products that I'm going to say. But yeah. This is the Aura Ring. O-U-R-A. Aura. Okay, guys. So the next one is kind of a um, three-part thing, but it all has to do with light. So uh, guys, I mentioned that um, before you go to bed, you really want to make sure that there is this window, um, your kind of wind down sleep window, window prep kind of thing for sleep. And really this, it, light is a very, very, very big part of this. And so guys, I'm going to show you kind of the three part things that I use to help me sleep. Um, if I feel like I need it I'm in an environment that, um, is really not the best in terms of how much light and the kind of light that I'm getting, here's kind of what I use. Um, I don't use all of them every day. Um, but here's kind of what I found to kind of help me a little bit. So the first thing you can see my case is kind of old here, but it's these glasses from true dark I have a scuff here. Sorry from true dark. And essentially what these are is these are blue blocking glasses. So the idea is that they will block out, um, certain frequencies of light a lot of them being blue so as you can kind of see actually as it's reflecting on the light here it's kind of coming off as blue so you can see there's kind of a yellow tint to them but it's actually like if I shine it at the camera, you'll see that the light that's actually reflecting is blue. So the idea is it doesn't, they don't let blue light through, or at least a certain frequencies of blue light. And the reason why this is good is because blue light very much stimulates certain hormones and certain neurochemicals that'll keep you alert and keep you awake. And that's really good in the day when we wake up and see the blue sky, that's awesome. But when we're going to bed, we don't want that because it'll begin to confuse our circadian rhythms and that will really mess us up for trying to wind down for sleep. They are yellow, but the light they give off are blue. Pretty interesting. Again, there's a debate here on how much blue blocking glasses really help. I don't know if it's, um, in the industry that are really trying to just push a product and it totally might be um but placebo or not i feel as though they do help me so again these probably are about 100 usd maybe a bit less maybe a bit more um but you can give these a shot i know there are brands out there that are not that expensive but i've also noticed do not um bounce the blue light like this you know there's a couple tests you can do where you can get a light at the lens and you'll see that what reflects onto the table if you put these on the table and you shoot a light right here what will come back down onto the table is actually blue light so um i've noticed that with a couple other brands where i paid 30 or 40 dollars i have a couple good friends that i bought some for as well um i noticed that they, they didn't do that 
that. So again, maybe this is just um, me being crazy here, but I, I do think these really do help. So I'll wear these two or three hours before bed, especially if I'm watching TV, watching a movie or anything like that. So these are really great. Going down the rabbit hole a little bit further, and guys, I don't really wear these that often. I kind of bought these when I was getting really obsessed with biohacking. These are a little bit more intense. They look kind of silly on your on your head. But anyways, the next thing are these Cyclops looking glasses. Um, we got these ones. They actually have like little foam inserts here um, to block light from coming in. So I guess when you're wearing them on your head, right, the light's not going to come down like this. They're pretty intense. But um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll kind of wear those other ones that I showed you a moment ago. I'll wear those ones at maybe three hours out and then maybe 30 minutes out depending on what I'm doing, I might switch over to these guys. I might switch over to uh, these pretty intense, like I said, Cyclops from X-Men type glasses to really kill all of the blue light, blue light exposure. Again, I don't do this very much anymore. I'll do this maybe if I'm really in a horrible, like if I'm in a hotel room, I'm traveling and there's a hotel room that has just crazy fluorescent lights, which some of them do. I'll have these guys with me and I'll wear them here and there, but again, these feel a little too intense. They're pretty big on your face, as you can see with all this extra nonsense. I don't know how much it helps, um, but you guys let me know. If you guys have tried anything like these, let me know if these transition from the regular blue light blocking glasses um, actually helps when you move to something like this red. So yeah, let me know. That's the kind of second stage of my sleep. Now, the third stage of my sleep, guys, is really, this is something I use when, um, again, I'm in a hotel room or something where I can't control the environment the way I'd like to with respect to sleep. And I'll use these guys really to help me uh, completely block up the light. This is a sleep mask. Um, brand is called Manta Sleep. So you can see here, again, not affiliated with any of them. You know, make sure you guys can see this properly. Manta Sleep. And these are really cool. So these ones were about 150 USD, which might seem kind of wild. Um, and I'll admit that it's a pretty high price point, but I will say they've been very worth it. Now, I'll, I'll show you guys some of the features really that this guy has, but I'll wear these when I'm actually sleeping, obviously. Um, and they've solved a lot of the problems that a lot of common sleep masks have. Guys, the first thing that I'll show you is they actually have this mesh. As you can see, this whole thing is mesh. So it's foam and then it has mesh around it. Now, the beauty of this is it actually allows the temperature to not be really hot. So I used to have this um, eye mask that went all the way around my head and it was like a velvet or like a silk or something like that. Um, and then it had like padding inside of it. And it was really comfortable, but I would always wake up in the middle of the night because it was so hot. Like my head would heat up so much. And the nice thing about this is they actually have a mesh to allow the, uh, the air to blow through, which actually keeps your head nice and cool. So that's the first thing that I'll say. Other thing that I'll say is that at the back here, they have a very low profile. As you can see, very low profile back. It's very nice and padded. Um, has a little bit of grip here to make it sure it stays on your head, but it's very nice and low profile. And the benefit of this is that when you're sleeping, there's not this big thing on the back of your head, which is, feels very uncomfortable and very foreign. So it's nice to have something just like this super low profile that you can lie if you're a back sleeper. Um, I sleep by, both on my back and my side and they have both, they have both of those features, uh, both of those sleepers covered here and I'll show you in a second, but this is really awesome. So the next thing is actually, and this is probably the best part is actually, I'll flip this kind of inside out here, is actually the eye cups. These are really cool. They come off with Velcro. Okay, I'm not gonna remove it here because I have it in my perfect setting that it took me a minute to find. Um, but they have this Velcro, so you can remove the eye cups. So if you want, you know, if your eyes are closer together, further apart, whatever, you can move these slightly further out or slightly further in to make sure that they're perfectly over your eyes. Now they do have replaceable eye cups. They have ones, I've not tried them. These are the standard ones that comes come with this model. I don't, I don't know what this one's called, but you can just go to their website and you'll find it. But these eye cups actually move if you want them to. And you can replace them with basically cold cups, which keeps your eyes cold, which are really cool. I'll probably invest in those pretty soon here, but I have found a lot of success with this mask as it is. So I'm not sure that I'll even need anything, but the best part about these, and it's not, it's not the fact that they're replaceable or that you can move them, it's this. It's a subtle detail, or as you can see, it goes from kind of this larger profile all the way down to this very, very slim, very slim profile, okay? So the benefit of this is for side sleepers. So I sleep on my side a lot. To be honest, I sleep on all sides and I even sleep on my front, which I should not. Um, but anyway, as you can see, when I hold it up like this, you see that actually it goes on the side, it's low profile inside your head. So when you lie down, the problem that I used to have was with the old model before they came out with this one, the same company, they had this profile all the way around. And what happens is when you lie on your side, it kind of has so much profile that it pushes the cup up a bit. And when it does that, it allows a little bit of light to get in. And that's so annoying. You need it to be absolutely pitch black because when there's a little bit of light, you know, it's like you notice that little bit of light. It's kind of like when you hear just one mosquito or just one fly, it's so annoying because you just hear that one sound, right? And they managed to design this where it's really, really awesome. It's super low profile. You sleep on your side and it's, by the way, this is super silky to the touch on your eyes. Locks out, I will say 100% of light. So this is absolutely perfect. Um, you'll know that I said in my past video that our skin actually has photoreceptors as well. So still you wanna have your whole body covered when you're sleeping or make sure that that's pitch black. But with respect to your eyes and what you can see, this is a phenomenal product, guys. I would really recommend this for traveling. 
Um, I don't really sleep with it very often. And on the rare, rare, rare occasion I take naps, maybe twice a year, um, I'll use this kind of in the middle of the day again to help me sleep. Best sleep mask I've ever tried, and I've tried a whole lot of them, guys. So I would recommend Manta Sleep, whatever they, this is called. Yeah, that's what I'd recommend. So guys, the next product I'm gonna talk about is not one I actually can show you right now, but I have a memory foam mattress topper. I would invest in a high quality mattress or high quality mattress topper. That's what I did. It helps you sleep. Again, it just supports your body in lots of different ways. That goes with a memory foam pillow as well. I would recommend that or whatever pillow makes sense to you. There's a brand out there. Um, we actually just met them on, on a business trip here. They're called Pillow Cube. Their whole idea is they have a pillow that's the shape of a cube. It helps align your spine a little bit more. Again, what I'm getting at here, guys, is pillows are really, really important. Same with mattresses or a mattress topper, if that's what you prefer. It's whatever you like, guys, really. But honestly, make sure you invest in a high quality pillow, high quality mattress. I've done both of those things. Can't, I can't recommend it enough. So that's what I would do. The next product is one that, again, I don't have, but I'm looking into getting, and it's an EMF. EMF blocking canopy. So it's essentially, it's a big thing that goes over your bed. It kind of looks like, you know, you know, when you have a daughter, you have a kid and you know, your, your daughter wants to sleep and she wants to be like a, like a fairy princess. And you have that kind of pink canopy that goes over your bed. It kind of looks like that, but it has silver fibers in it. And what silver does is actually blocks a lot of EMFs. So it's quite expensive. I haven't invested in it yet. Pretty well understood that EMFs under, uh, interrupt your sleep. And if you live like me, I live in a high rise in Toronto, downtown Toronto. Um, when you do that, of course, there's EMFs everywhere. There's all this Wi-Fi, there's all this Bluetooth, there's everything, right? So I might invest in something like that and see how that impacts my sleep. If you guys are interested in seeing how that um, helps me out. Um, again, I'm a really good lab rat because I sleep, like I said, like shit. The last three things that I'll mention are supplements, applications, and earplugs. To start with supplements, guys, um, I don't take anything before bed. Um, if you guys watch any of my other videos, you can go back and see exactly the way I eat. I believe in kind of an animal-based diet where my diet is based mainly around grass-finished beef. But I sleep pretty well when it comes to, whenever I've taken a supplement, it doesn't really help me. I've tried magnesium, I've tried melatonin. I really, really don't like melatonin. Um, I just think it builds a quick dependency. And also, you know, there's a really strong interaction between melatonin and serotonin. They're very similar uh, in terms of their um, chemistry and they can really impact. I've noticed that when I take melatonin, it really has a negative impact on focus later in the day and and also just mood so i don't like melatonin um magnesium is okay I, again i don't really see a huge benefit in it i've tried different kinds of magnesium i tried magnesium citrate i think was the best one i took um i could make a whole video with respect to sleep supplements if you guys are interested but to cut to the chase i don't really use anything i only supplements that i really take are organ meat supplements um from a brand that again i can talk about if you guys are interested in and i take those in the day it has nothing really directly to do with my sleep it's more just kind of supporting myself from a hormonal hormonal perspective throughout the whole day so i don't really take anything there i would recommend guys that if you guys are really really hurting for sleep um that you fix a couple things like again like light sound uh darkness that kind of thing before you take any supplements because i haven't really seen anything that will really help you that you won't build a quick dependency to or anything like that that's just what i personally believe um so that's supplements out of the way i don't really take anything i don't really recommend anything the next thing was applications applications i have used um i forget what it's called now but it's an application essentially that analyzes when you're closest to waking up maybe sleep sound or something like that it's closest to when you're waking up um and it'll like set that alarm like when you set a 30 minute window and when it hears you kind of rustling around in your bed, you know, when you're closest, you're in the, your lightest sleep, you're essentially closest to consciousness, full consciousness, it'll um, set the alarm at that time. So it's, it's supposed to be an easier transition to sleep. I have used it. I do have it on my phone. I don't use it very often because right now I use the light to wake me up. I just think it's a nicer transition from being asleep to awake. I do. I did like it when I used it. I could, I might use it when I go, um, you know, when I'm traveling for work or something like that and I'm in a hotel, I, I could totally use that app. It's, it's not bad. Um, any other apps I don't really use. There's white noise apps, again, like I mentioned, which might be valuable. Um, but again, I just don't really sleep super close to my phone either way. So I don't really use any applications. So nothing really there. Again, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. The last thing is earplugs. Now, earplugs I don't really like because kind of like this guy, the problem this guy solved with the low profile sleeping on your side, I feel like earplugs have that problem where when you sleep when you're a side sleeper, they kind of jam into your ear and it's just not comfortable, especially someone who can I wake up from anything. So having that annoying thing in my ear will just wake me up all night. I do know the company Bose, I do know they make a um they make like a specific sleep, I guess, hearing ear like earplug thing. This was the fit um, with a very like flat profile. I haven't tried that yet. I believe the three, four hundred dollars, they're, they're quite pricey. I, I, again, I can give them a shot if you guys are interested uh, in that and save you guys the money. I, I can give it a try and give you guys a full review on what I think in case you guys are interested. But that's really the only other um, earplug tool I've heard of. So again, with respect to supplements, apps, and earplugs, I don't use any of those. Mainly I use my eye protection, my eyewear, whatever. I use the Aura Ring. Um, I use the eye mask. Uh, I have a fan that drowns certain sounds out. Uh, kind of use that as white noise. Also keeps the temperature and the air circulation kind of where I want it. I have my mattress topper with my uh, uh, my pillow that I use, it's memory foam. Um, and then I, again, I use a sauna, cold shower. And then I make sure I adhere to my pre-sleep window kind of routine where no food, no working out, no cr crazy light exposure. And I make sure that I 
uh, have my sleep hygiene on point where I mainly take a shower before I go to bed, especially after the sauna. So guys, that's pretty much all the tools that I use. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comment below. I hope you liked this video and found some value from it. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe for more content so we can push that out to the algorithm and you guys can never miss a video. With that said, guys, my name is Spencer. This is the Must Become YouTube channel. I believe that what you can become, you must become. And all these tools, all these sleep hacks, all this stuff are things that will contribute to that mission. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.